everyone, today's video is a little bit of a kind of anti-fatigue makeup video because I'm absolutely knackered this week uh, and tonight I am doing a murder mystery evening for my aunt, uncle and my cousins so I've got to go off and prepare that and I thought that I would just do um, a very quick makeup look, very just natural and glowy and it's more about some new products and old products that I wanted to try out on camera as well so it's a bit of a random mishmash video this one, very relaxed and casual for your Sunday evening. Hope that you enjoy it, let's go back to the start with no makeup and I'll show you what I did. I just realised I took all my nail polish off to paint a really nice colour on to do this video and then I forgot to put it back on again. So sorry about that, but I feel that if I stop now I'm never going to get this done. Starting off with the base then, I'm going to try this new, I love a little glow primer. Um, and I use this one quite a lot, the Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury, which is really good. But today I'm going to try a new one from Saku, and this is called Sheer Glow Liquid. That's not what I want to show you. That's what I want to show you. Sheer Glow Liquid, and it's quite a pearly pink one, this one. I'm applying everything today with my Bobbi Brown um, Foundation Concealer Brush Duo, which I don't think you can get anymore, but if you ever do see one again, it is brilliant, just for putting on everything. Cream foundation, cream bronzer, cream blush, your primer. Oh, I've just totally primed my eyeball. That is actually glowing, isn't it? That's really nice. I like that. It's not going to be cheap because it's a coup. But if you like investing in your high-end makeup, then that is very nice indeed. Um, I'm going in with my new rediscovery, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation, which I really, really like. And I use shade 52. I just really like this because it's fresh and light. Not too um, amazing on coverage, but a little bit more than you'd get from something like a tinted moisturiser. Now, if I was being really nifty with my makeup, I would have gone a tone slightly darker and warmer. Just because I do find that that makes you look a bit healthier and if you're really tired, it can just liven things up a bit. But I want to use that foundation and I don't have that in a tone darker. So that's what I'm using. But, you know, it's not on the pale side by any means. It's just a really good match for my skin tone. And then just a very light dusting over the T-zone with the new um, Nude Finish Illuminating Powder from Bobbi Brown. So <clears throat> I feel like I'm kind of keeping, I don't really get oily these days, but just keeping that nice and, um, it's like matte but glowy if that makes any sense. The finish is matte, so you can't see any oil on the surface or anything, but it gives this radiance. So finished off with that. And then I want to add a little bit more glow to the sides of my face, on the cheekbones, and I'm using, I've got two here actually, the Soap and Glory Ice Shimmer Stick, which I reviewed on my website the other week. Maybe I'll put that on one side and the other one on the other. So just taking that along the cheekbone, and then buffing that in. And then on the other side, I've got this one from Well People, the Bio Brightener. which I think is actually a little bit stronger than the Soap and Glory. See that there? And then I want to try this out. I've tried it out already actually, but um, I want to try it out on camera. This is the Cream Blusher in Camisole Blush from um, Rosie Huntington Whiteley at Autograph. And it's a really nice warm, um, warm kind of tawny, tawny, tawny colour, um, I think it's really lovely, you only need a tiny bit, so I'm just popping that in a kind of triangle towards my ear, and it just gives this really soft very subtle bronzy glow. That just gives such a pretty 
flush and this is really nice and buildable as well. Um, and if you don't like the more matte cream blushes, things like the bourgeois that goes straight to a powder and has a, a kind of velvety matte finish, this, it's not greasy but it just I think feels a little bit dewier on the skin. So if you like something that you can really buff into your cream foundation um, or liquid foundation and you want it to look very youthful and glowy and lovely, very nice indeed that one. Um, I'm going in with my concealer last on my skin because I wanted to see what my um, face was doing first. Kick-Ass Concealer from Soap and Glory, another new rediscovery. And I'm going to go in with a mixture of the yellow and the warmer tone. And just set that with a tiny bit of the powder. There, looking a lot more awake, I think. Um, let's just get that thing out of my eye. On my eyes, I'm going to use a uh, Rimmel eyeshadow magnifies in 002, which is Millionaire, which is just a really nice um, kind of can be really low key this shade, or it can look quite glamorous, but we want it to look low key. And I'm just going to sweep that across the lid. It's one of those barely there shades, really. But it's got quite a nice, um, not shimmer, but lift to it. And then eyebrows, I've been using this loads recently. I know that Caroline Barnes said just use um, hairspray, but I can never bloody find my eyebrow comb thing. So I've been using this, which is probably really expensive, but I found it in my stash by Terry Eyebrow Mascara in Blonde. So just combing those upwards, really. Just where they've started to fall down. And then mascara. Do you know, this is probably a really bad one to use, but this week I've been using this Chanel um, Rouge Noir Mascara, which has got a real ruddy, purpley tone to it. And if your eyes are a little bit tired and red, it's probably not the best colour to use, but I really love the consistency of it. It's one of the, um, not Ultra Noir, what is it called? Volume de Chanel tried loads of brilliant mascaras recently. And then something juicy for the lips. Um, oh, this isn't the right shade. Where's it gone? This is a Lancome Juicy Shaker. I don't know whether you've seen these. They're quite fun. And it's like a... You get a tiny little... It's almost like a marshmallow, this applicator but you mix up the um, oil and the colour. You have to do it quite well actually, otherwise you don't really get anything out. And each one of these has got a different flavour, I think. This one is Lemon Explosion. I know just had a little hint of colour. This really isn't the right one because it's actually got glitter in it. Freedom of Peach. That's the one that I was looking for. You know, I shouldn't love this because I'm like 35. But it is a lot of fun. It's not something that's going to last you the whole day, let's face it. But it does feel new and fresh and exciting. And there we have it, my anti-fatigue makeup. Oh. I can hear I'm going to be summoned any minute now. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Sorry that I'm staring at my face. I'm just seeing whether that's really glowy in the light, and I think that it is. Um, I have to wear my hair down all the time these days just to finish off because I've got so many short bits. They're like a lion's mane around my face when my hair fell out. So having it tied back during the day isn't really an option anymore, unfortunately, until it grows back. Anyway, enough of bleating on. 
I uh, hope that you enjoyed that. I'll put all the products below and I'll see you next time.